Hey Taurus, what's going on? It's your girl Raven, aka Rainbow Bright, and how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, and so is my dog Odin. We're just chilling. It's a bright, sunny day, you know. Um, before I get started, I just want to take a moment to just say thank you for all of the love and the support that everyone has shown the channel, the videos, the comments. I really appreciate it. I love you all. God bless you. Please continue to thumbs it up for your girl and share and subscribe. And really, you don't even really have to subscribe. I'm just happy that you got the message. So if you're just stopping in just to get a message, all I appreciate is for you to thumbs it up for me, you know, if you can. All right. So Taurus, let's see what's going on in your energy, okay? Um, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Taurus. Please show me what the Taurus Collective needs to know. Okay. This has something to do with a teacher or a mentor. Okay. Um, past life relationship. And we have, they were karmic together. Okay, Taurus. So, I'm going to leave it right there. Star seeds at the top of the deck. So you may be a star seed, Taurus. You may be dealing with a star seed. Okay. So teacher, I said teacher. Teacher mentor. All right. So let's see what's going on with this teacher mentor energy. 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 Goodness gracious. It's a why is that a tongue twister for me? Probably because I've been smoking a little bit. <laughs> Please don't judge me. <laughs> okay, Taurus, what's going on? What's the teacher mentor? Okay, well, someone they felt was a teacher or mentor has been sent to jail or is in a sense of confinement here. Um, what's the confinement, the captivity, the tolerance, the unfreedom here? Okay, we have profession. Ooh, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. So. Someone has been, someone is going to jail or they're facing jail time for something that they did on the job. This is his teacher mentor energy, but I also feel like it's workplace energy. So this could be somebody that you look up to that has a lot of skills. And right now they're looking at jail time, something, some, or this could be somebody who has a lot of talent. Um, they're facing some sort of jail time or like maybe even spiritual jail. Um, there's an illness here, weakness, disease, fragility. So there may be a mentor or a teacher that is sick. And this is being brought to light here. Protest is here. This is being brought to the attention. This says sue, attention, inadequacy. If someone could be getting sued, someone can just be earning this information out. Okay. Huh. What's the past life relationship with Taurus? Okay, that's way too many. This means it has a lot to say. All right, what's the past life relationship with Taurus? All right. We have disturbance, death, and marionette, which is like the domination dictatorship energy here. So someone in your past um, could really have been a disturbance to you. <clears throat> Someone in your past really could have been a real disturbance to you, okay? Um, they might have been hexing and cursing you. They just might have been always nagging you on your back. You know, something was up here. Um, okay, and you might have brought an ending to this, okay? You might have said, fuck this shit. Fuck this supernatural bullshit, you know? Maybe you called in the... Um, Winchester, goodness gracious. I'm thinking about the show Supernatural and Dean and Sam, and I cannot think of their fucking names. You may have called in <laughs> Dean and Sam on their ass to fucking exercise their asses. I was going to say Ghostbusters too, but Ghostbusters is so played out. So I thought I'd use another metaphor. Okay, but you brought an ending to this. You might have called in Dean and Sam and said, hey, get this nagged ass hit shot my back. Be the way it goes. You learned a lesson here. This was a past life lesson. Okay, this person was com was controlling you, dominating you, um, maybe manipulating you one way or the other. You, maybe you were reluctant to do this, and maybe this is God forcing your hand saying, you better do this. You know, that's the way of looking at it, too. Okay, this teacher, this mentor could have been part of a past life relationship that you were in that was also a disturbance to you back then that you had to um, learn how to bring an end to. 
you know, because they were really running things for you, ruining things maybe. Okay, now we got, they were karmicking together. So let me see who was karmicking with you. Wow, okay. We got natural disaster here. That's the risk, the frustration, the survive. And we've got inducement, which is persuasion, bribe, temptation. They were karmicking together. Someone here was in survival mode. And they took some sort of risk or they were frustrated over something that wasn't working out right that became a natural disaster. So they reached out to somebody, <coughs> excuse me, and they bribed or they tempted or somehow persuaded them to do something insidious to get what they wanted here. Desire worth extravagance. What's the, they were karmicking together. What else? Now, if you don't know what karmicking is, I'll, I'll explain here in a second here. Okay, they were karmicking, karmicking together to try to get a gift or get something out of somebody or something. Okay. Uh, karmics are what in the spirit are spiritual terms which, um, where someone is exhibiting karmic behavior, which means they're doing something they're about to learn a lesson from, you know, in the laws of karma. You know, there's karma and there's dharma, you know. So if someone's acting in toxic toxic energy and they have and they're not learning a lesson, or if there's a lesson to be learned, then we would say karmic energy. So my term for karmic it just basically means that somebody, an individual has went and found another individual or individuals, and they have decided to go karmic, <laughs> which means to to uh, go against somebody, to do something that is going to bring about a tower or some sort of karma. You know, I am such a fan of Lady Karma and her work. I mean, goodness gracious, she has a whole workload ahead of her because people just, for some reason, seem to think that they could do karmic and ass behavior and never, ever get caught. And it just behooves me. Moving forward. Give me a second. Let me take a sip of my tea here. Okay. So they were karmic in together. Somebody here called some sort of somebody here was the master disaster. And they were like, you know what? I want some other people to join this fund. Let me see if I could bribe them and bribe them and pretend like they're going to get a promotion or a gift out of this. Let me see if I could bribe them to see, to tempt them to make them, they don't get a victory out of this. What is the karmic behavior? What was it that they were doing? Fooling around in childish, immature ways, causing uh, fantasies or illusions, maybe imagination, something with the mind. What's the imagination? Ah, they were purporting to be a friend, a trustworthy, honest, compat compatible companion or something, and they were not, maybe. Try to get it to stop the soup. That way you can see it clearly. Okay. All right, so now let me get to some tarot here. Okay, well, they're deceiving, wearing a mask. That's um, deception, pretending inconstancy, wearing a mask. All right, so Taurus, I'm feeling these cards right now. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. I don't know why that song popped into my head. That may have significance. Take it how it resonates. Okay, Taurus. So we got someone here that was a tantrum. Uh, why, is that, why am I not pronouncing that right? I'm sorry. Goofy. <laughs> so we got someone here who was in a teacher slash mentor energy who's either going to jail, they feel trapped, maybe spiritual jail for something that they did and they're feeling sick and, it's, and attention is being brought to them. Okay. This was a past life relationship that caused a disturbance before. And you had to bring an ending to it. This individual was karmicking with somebody to bring about some sort of imagination to trust. Or I don't know, just to try to confuse somebody, it kind of seems like. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Taurus. Please clarify. Excuse me. Please clarify to me the energy here for me to convey to Taurus as clearly as I can. All right, somebody had you on your guard. Somebody had your wall up. 
Or maybe you had to set boundaries here. We got the Nine of Wands. Some boundaries had to be set. What's the Nine of Wands? Page of Cups. Something to do with children. Um, something to do with um, communicating emotions or something. What's this Page of Cups? Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay, so you may have had your guards up when it came to this person and as far as how you felt about them because you weren't too sure about who they were or what they were trying to do. Um, the Nine of Wands and the Page of Cups. And then we have the Three of Cups here with the Eight of Wands, which means that you, uh, this teacher or mentor energy, you may have celebrated with them at some point or maybe they may have had a whole group of people with them, you know, that was targeting you. Like they were manifesting something here. What were they manifesting? What's this Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands, Spirit? Something from the past? Six of Cups energy? Kids? Um, what's the Six of Cups? They were like attacking, maybe they're attacking childhood wounds. They were attacking childhood wounds, maybe? What's the Six of Cups? Yep. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles reverse and the World card reverse. They were attacking something from the past that has something to do with some sort of instability that somebody was in where they kept repeating cycles or they just were stuck. They were, I think this is a childhood wound. I want to say that. Like they were, like in other words, it's like um, a teacher or a mentor, someone you looked up to was working with a group of people yeah it's like they were yeah it, it's weird it was like they were working with a group of people here to attack you or you may have been this t teacher slash mental energy and you were being attacked by a group of people that's kind of weird i want to use another deck this one. This is the one I need. Okay, Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the energy of Taurus, into the frequency of Taurus. Clarify the teacher mentor energy, please. Ooh. All right. This teacher mentor energy is uh, has the will of fortune and ten of cups. So this is somebody who is just, I feel like was just walking on their journey, you know, mind their own business, just fulfilling their own happiness here. Um, or this is to say that someone here is um, in the energy of the wheels turning in their favor and they're going to be happy. Someone's probably getting locked up after they were trying their best to stop you. Who else but this teacher mentor energy? There's heartbreak here. Three of Swords. Third party heartbreak was the Three of Swords. Hard in reverse. Okay. Somebody here may be seeking a divorce. Two of Cups is reversed at the bottom of the deck. And, yep, and the Justice reversed. Yep, and the Ace of Cups. Damn, hold on. Yeah. Oh, hold on here. Hold on here, Taurus. Somebody's pissed. Who? Okay, I got a story to tell you. Now, when I say that on my channel, that means that I have a lot of cards to read out. Okay. Somebody here is mad as hell that you're moving on or that somebody's moving on, okay? Um, that someone's seeking a divorce. They're broken hearted here. But they know, but also, I mean, the person who is leaving, which is you, if you're leaving this person to find your happiness, it's coming. But you're having to divorce this person. That's what it looks like here. Um, two of Cups is reversed, okay? So that's the disharmony, the, the breakup in the relationship. Justice reversed. It was unbalanced. It was unfair. Karmic justice is due here. Something bad must have happened here. Ace of Cups reversed. This person's just not fucking happy. Sad squirrels here. <laughs> not fucking happy. No tourists. Not happy. 
Um, not happy. Nine of Cups reverse. Not fucking happy, yo. Seven of Pentacles. They're pissed off because they put a lot of time. You see how he's sweating? He done planted a lot of shit into this situation here. Pissed the fuck off. Stars reverse. He's like, okay, I'm lost now. Because I done invested all this shit into this damn situation. And ain't nothing fucking, ain't nothing good come out of it. Wow. King of Swords reverse. Somebody feels manipulated. Somebody feels like they dealt with a narcissist. Like they got attacked. I mean, ain't a want. Like, look at these witches attacked. Like, dude, this is crazy. Okay. So, someone here feels trapped. Okay. They feel trapped and they feel sick and they feel sick, okay? They know the wheel's going to turn and they're going to be happy again at some point. But in the meanwhile, they're heartbroken because they know that they've got to break up with somebody. They know they got to divorce somebody and it's going to be very hurtful, very disappointing. Someone's going to feel like it's unfair and unjust and they're going to be pissed the fuck off, holding a fucking grudge like Mr. Sad Squirrel here. And they're just, yeah, this is crazy. Okay, and let's look into the past life relationship energy here. Holy Spirit, please can me tap into the energy of Taurus. Please clarify the past life uh, relationship energy. The collective Taurus energies. No love for Taurus. All right, Taurus. Um, what's this past life relationship energy? Yeah, somebody is sick with it. And that, I mean, they are just sick with it. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, which which could mean this this may have been someone you work with, or somebody was trying to master something, or somebody really really worked hard on something here. Uh, what's this Eight of Pentacles? What were they working hard on? Someone was like really repetitive, like really like you know going on and on about something. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Okay, we got the Hangman and the Seven of Cups here. Okay. Seven of Cups is about choices, options. Some can be illusions, some good, some bad. Opportunities. The hangman is about seeing things from another perspective here. You know, um, like being on pause to see things from another perspective. So somebody in this, okay, so this past life relationship energy, we could say that somebody here uh, was really trying to um, work on themselves. Maybe they're trying to learn a lesson here. Someone here was trying to learn a lesson about, you know, many having many options to choose from and choosing right and was and choosing wrong here. Like this is a past life lesson here. This disturbance that they're going through, this ending they're going through, you know, this was something that they may have experienced before in another lifetime and they're having to deal with it again because it wasn't healed in the other lifetime. But this could also say that this is an um an ex, you know, that's um yeah, it just feels like they got stuck. What's this past life relationship energy? That's kind of scattered. Maybe it's time to move on to a new deck. I believe so. Okay. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Taurus. We got a card in here that does not belong. Are you seeing this? It's crazy, huh? Protest. That belongs over here. Okay, protest. Something's being brought to light. Some sort of news or something. Holy Spirit, please clarify the past life relationship. King of Swords reverse, a narcissist, somebody who's manipulative, bossy, controlling, liar. <clears throat> What's this King of Swords reverse? Okay. You may have worked, like I guess the Eight of Pentacles is here. Now we have the Three of Pentacles here, which is also a workplace card. You may have worked with this individual or worked on something with this individual. And found out, I mean, just really discovered that it really, really wasn't going nowhere. Or maybe this individual um, was just refute. 
This, this individual, this narcissistic individual, work with a group of people here to try to keep you stuck and feeling out of balance. Temperance reverse with the um, Six of Swords reverse. Someone was trying to keep you stuck. What's this temperance reverse? Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone, okay, in other words, it's like you're trying to climb out of the shithole you're in and somebody is like trying to keep you down. You know, you're trying to come out of the cold here. Trying to come out of the, the challenges that you're going through. So this was definitely a karmic lesson for you to learn. You gotta deal, had to learn how to deal with karmics, you know, um, you know, manipulative people, narcissists, a group of them, a whole group of them working together to keep that they, they refuse to heal. Six of Swords reverse is like somebody who's refusing to heal. They wanna keep, you know what I'm saying? They just wanna stay in, in one place and not acknowledge what's going on, you know, and they're out of balance here. You learned how to heal. You learned what it meant to heal. You learned how to how to cut off people who refuse to heal, to not let them control and dominate you because they won't heal. You could have healed on something and they have it, but yet they're trying to make you conform to their insecurities because they haven't healed. You learned that lesson, Taurus, and I'm proud of you. Ashe. Okay, well, let's see who was karmicking together, Taurus. Haters come in threes. I don't know where that came from. It just came to my mind. So it's maybe three people. What's uh somebody somebody basically somebody like tipped or bribed or paid somebody to join the party of karmicking. Somebody had like a VIP karmicking party and they went around and they found their guests and they and these people joined like the idiots they were. Who was they were karmicking together? People are dumbasses. All right, so two of swords as Libra energy, four of pentacles as earth sign energy. I'm not sure which one yet, but that's Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, Taurus. But okay, we could say that somebody who is confused, somebody who was lost, that didn't know which way to go, didn't really feel like that there was a right option. They joined in, they were persuaded into joining into this. Somebody that was, and somebody's holding back on that. Somebody. It's holding back that they join in on this, but only out of confusion. This may have been someone you trusted, Taurus. Um, what's this two of swords reverse with the four of pentacles? This is a tower. This person was facing a tower. So this might have been somebody in a desperate situation who was already experiencing a tower for some dumb shit they may have already done, like a karmic tower, in other words, you know, and maybe they went that they wanted to get help or something. And they was like, hey, can you karmic with me? Because I'm getting a tower and I feel like the best the best remedy for when you get a tower is just more karma. So will you karmic with me? That might be a scenario here. I'm just guessing. What's the tower? It may be a download. Who knows? What's the tower? Yeah. We got the page of pentacles in reverse and the six of cups in reverse. This may have something to do with kids. This may have something to do with an ex. It may have somebody that you had dealt with in the past. Someone who is um who procrastinates. That's there you go. Someone from the past who's a procrastinator who Gives grandiose promises but never follows through on them. A scam artist. Um, someone who does, has very poor... Who's someone who's having trouble making things happen, in other words. What's this page of Pentacles reversed with the Six of Cups? You may have kids with this person. Paige is a, is a child, too. So you may have some sort of history with children with this person. What's the page of pentacles reverse? Two of Wands, which is future plans, making plan choices. The world is in your hands. So this is somebody who had two choices to make. They had two paths to walk down. They can go down 
this path or this path, okay? And I have a feeling they chose the wrong path. Somebody probably was not sure which way to go. Did not was not sure which way would lead to what, and they were misled. Maybe what's this two of wands with the page of pentacles in reverse? Nine of wands. Um, this is battle worn energy. Somebody who's tired, exhausted, about ready to give up, stressed out. Like this is about like someone who's so close to their goal, but they're about ready to give up. So you may have this. If this is you, Taurus, you may have been stressed out. You may have been like, okay, I got my guard up because I know there's fuckery going on, but I don't know what to do. Someone was really facing a decision after being very worn out and exhausted and tired here. Okay, fire energy is definitely here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Someone was faced with uh, some options here with the choice with their plans. Either plan A is I can move on to my future and, you know, and walk my spiritual path. Or I can revert to the past and do what I what I like to do in the, like past energy, like what I typically do in the past, what I normally do, and stay in my comfort zone. This is now ones. Okay, we got the two of pentacles here, going with the flow, balancing decisions and things like that. Someone here has been trying to balance a lot of things, trying to priorities, multiple priorities. Some this is somebody who has a lot of priorities going on, trying who's like juggling, always trying to balance things. And then we got the Ten of Swords and the Six of Pentacles in the reverse here. So this is somebody who got scammed and betrayed in the past, and they've been trying to balance themselves and keep themselves afloat afterwards. So you may have been recovered, <coughs> recovering from being scammed or betrayed. <clears throat> And you're trying to balance yourself here and stay afloat. And then, and so you're like, okay, let me think about the future, my future plans here. But I got my wall up. But let me see. I got two paths to walk down here. Which one is the better option here? And someone here was confused and may have gotten manipulated somehow. That's what appears to be the energy. Okay, let me get some advice here, Taurus. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Taurus. Please give me some advice for the Taurus energies. What's the advice here for Taurus? Okay, Taurus. Okay. There's some quick action that needs to happen here. Rapid action, speed. Um, excuse me. Time is of the essence here, okay? We've got the eight of wands here, which is like quick, fast movement. This can mean travel, uh, moving towards somebody or something. And then we got the devil reverse, which is Capricorn energy, um, which is like releasing toxin patterns, releasing limiting beliefs. So rapidly, somebody here needs to release whatever addiction, whatever limiting beliefs, whatever lack of will, whatever resentment they had, they need to let it go. Whatever toxic pattern behavior or whatever they're doing that is keeping them from this two of cups relationship here, it's time to let it go, okay? This needs to happen quickly, okay? This has been lingering for too long. What else, Holy Spirit, for Taurus energy? Yeah, you've been holding on for this for too long, four of pentacles. And it looks like somebody here was trying to have something to offer someone. So they're trying to save money, build security, um, be frugal, you know, have a sense of control or whatever about them before they approach this energy. What's this for, Pickles? Okay, Justice is here and with the Ten of, uh, ten of Wands. This could talk about how the, scale, the scales would be a balance. That's Libra energy right there. And uh, Ten of Wands is Sagittarius. So this could talk about how um, the scales are being balanced here. If someone wants to take on the responsibility and be fair about the situation, there's somebody here who wants to build, who wants to have, like, who wants to be, you know, financially stable and everything so that they can be responsible and take on the burdens and the hard work here to make things balanced and fair here. So somebody was definitely lied to in this situation about somebody else. And they may have been karmicking against them as a result of confusion. They were misled. They were lied to. But now it's the time for them to take action to show that they're really sorry, that they really want to make things right here.
there is somebody here that you see as a teacher or a teacher or a mentor that Queen of Wands energy, beautiful, um, independent, courageous, um, focused, determined. Um, but when it, but you, well, I mean, it's reverse. Eight of Swords is reverse, which it means to uh, release yourself from negative thoughts. So you may have had negative thoughts about coming towards this Queen of Wands because you may have done something or heard about something about her or something like that. And Spirit is saying it's time for you to release yourself from that toilet paper torture. This Eight of Swords, and you're trying to release yourself from that, okay? So that you can move forward. What else? Yeah, love is here. Ace of Cups. It was kind of reversed, but yeah, I mean, this is your this is your love. This is your your uh, intuition is telling you that this is your you know this is who you want to be with. You may want to propose this person. You're in love with them. You're thinking about marriage. You have new feelings for them. You have compassion with them. You have creativity when you're with this person. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, they bring the sun out. They're your sunshine. You know, their positive, their positivity to bring you pleasure, their happiness, their fun, joy, celebration, success. You know, they you know this, okay? But you have got to heal from this past life relationship wound and you know and, and forgive yourself and forgive whatever else is going on here so that you can move forward towards this person here. This person was somebody that you really you know, really, really help. You I mean you put put this person on the pedestal? What else, spirit? Um, two of Pentacles is in reverse. It was it's upright over here, but this is basically to say that this is a set. This is about duality, togetherness, a settling of the energy, union, love, and balance. So things are about to be balanced here. If you go ahead and make this move, things are going to balance out for you, Taurus. Okay. You've got to let go of things in the past that hurt you. And if there's someone there that doesn't want to let go, you can move past them. You ain't got to deal with their shit. A narcissist, the only thing you can do with a narcissist is leave them. You can never make them understand the bullshit that they do. I swear, they never understand. They'll just keep you lost all the time. All the time. Lost and they'll continue to cheat and emotionally manipulate you. They constantly keep you wanting to keep your guard up. They constantly keep your home unhappy. And this is a divine intervention, okay? <laughs> Divine intervention is here because you are the king of pinnacles here. You have the money. You have the stability. You have the security here. And if not, you're well on your way to that, okay? So don't be trapped in your fears here, okay? You may be um, like fear. Uh, you may have a fear of sacrificing something or, you know, feeling trapped. Like let go of those fears, okay? Those are limiting thoughts. Okay, Taurus, that completes your reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please thumbs it up and share it for me. And I will see you in the next video, okay? God bless you all, and I love you. Bye.